Hello again, friends. Welcome to the weekend. Hope you got a lot of fun planned, and you're gonna have fun being off work. I work weekends, so yeah. But it is what it is. Anyways, I was going to talk today about my wife breaking her foot a little over a month ago. What happened was I was outside weed whacking, got that done. Father-in-law cut down a cherry tree of ours that has been leaning towards the road for quite some time now. Finally did that for us. We've been begging him to do it forever, so he finally got that done. He's always begging for work, so we tell him what needs done and then he does it. So he did that and he left all the brush up in the yard and we have this little area beside our house. It's like this opening that uh, you can throw stuff down into and that's where I always put the brush. I cut bushes and whatnot. I throw the brush down in there and then I call brush pickup and those nice guys come over from the municipal and pick it up. So I was in the middle of doing that and I noticed it was getting late and dark and I noticed the lightning bugs were out in like full swing. First time I seen them all summer pretty much. I mean I don't go outside much at night but first time I saw them this summer and I texted the wife who was in the house and I said you should bring the daughter out and show her the lightning bugs for the first time a little itch up of the nose there so she comes out and immediately I had my like noise canceling headphones in so I uh, she yelled so loud I could hear this she tripped on her back step like we have these crappy paving stones that we're getting fixed very soon because of this she stepped wrong, like on the edge of it, and she went down, and of course she was holding the baby. Thankfully, she said everything was basically in slow motion, and she thought immediately, throw the baby to the side. That's when I heard her yell, and I looked over, and ain't nothing like seeing your eight-month-old baby tumbling through the yard. So I run over, I'm like, oh my goodness, oh, you know, freaking out because I'm like, oh, the baby just fell. And then I realized the wife was laying there too. And I picked the baby up, I, you know, comfort her. And then I, we realized there's a mark on her head. And uh, the wife's freaking out, of course, you know, just drop the baby. It happens. So it, a lot of new moms do it, you know, it's bound to happen. Thankfully, nothing happened bad. But, uh, yeah, she had a mark on her head, ended up having a scab for about a month, and then it finally fell off. It's amazing, by the way, what happens, how, how well a scab heals whenever you don't touch it. I, I, you know, every time you have a scab, you end up touching it, and then it gets all crappy and nasty, and then it eventually somehow heals itself. But her scab just eventually just fell off. But anyways, back to the story. Uh, I was freaking out, had to call my mom, and unfortunately she was in Atlantic City, so I, I was like, can you like meet us at the emergency room or something? I gotta get them both in the emergency room. Wife thinks she broke her foot and cut up her knee really bad. So uh, my mom wasn't available, so I had to call her dad and their stepmom, so they come over. We get the wife all loaded up in the van, the baby in her car seat, and then we get up to the hospital, and sure enough, the wife broke her fifth metatarsal. They basically found out that after two hours. And so she needed crutches. And then we went back a couple days later. She got her boot. Couldn't walk on it for a while because, you know, it was just the pain. And then she had to get a screw in her foot. So it was a busy, wild week. I was pushing around in my grandfather's wheelchair. He let us bother. bother. He let us borrow, thankfully. But I'm glad now, Tuesday, she goes and gets the boot taken off, and they should be able to say, hey, you're able to walk normal again. And the worst part was, at the hospital, the lady's flipping out. The reason you broke your foot is because you're wearing flip-flops. You should never wear flip-flops. It's like, lady, the wife's been wearing the flip-flops forever now, you know. Ever since she could wear flip-flops, she wears them, and the only time she doesn't wear them is when there's snow on the ground, and even then, she probably would. But yeah, that's been our adventure, you know, been a busy month and uh, figured I'd tell that story. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time right here with the gear shots. I always love telling you in stories. I'm glad I started this up again. It was always my funnest thing 
to do on YouTube. I mean, I'm still going to do the restroom reviews when I can and do the abandoned places, but I always like telling stories because it's fun. You know, I drive far to work, so I figure just tell stories and that's that. Love you all. Mwah.